Sim video. When I was still taking flower requests, I got a request for dandelions. So this is, I forgot to get around to them, but here they are now. So uh, technically I did this one slightly different. So dandelions are uh, typically wild, especially from where I'm at. They're a wild flower and they're literally everywhere. But there's the yellow flower and then there's also the little like little puff flower that you see like kids love to blow on and all that stuff and make them go everywhere that's the seed pod thing basically so uh, I decided to actually make two sims for this one instead of one sim so one is representing like the seed pod the white little puff ball and that is the male sim which I've named him Dan lion and then the female sim is actually representing the yellow flower of the dandelion which is, I've named her D-Line, so it's Dan D-Line. <laughs> Creative, right? <laughs> but, um, so yeah, with him, I tried to, with the hair, I tried to get something as poofy as possible, but it wasn't necessarily long, because, you know, I just wanted it to look like a puffball, and I figured this was the closest thing to it. Now, they don't look very similar compared to some of my other Sims, because a lot of the other sims, I sort of went for a different approach and different look with them because a lot of the other sims are flowers that, for the most part, aren't wildflowers and they don't tend to go everywhere. And also, people tend to not mow them down. <laughs> so, basically, these are like the pretty and famous flowers, but at the same time, the ones that not necessarily everyone wants. <laughs> to say it in a nice manner so um I kept that in mind because they are wildflowers and usually when you mow your yard you mow them down with it it's not like your flowers that you put out in your garden or hang in baskets or do whatever um uh, decorating with but um uh, I also tried to so I sort of went more of a relaxed lazy look for him particular and I tried to get his clothes to be more closer to the stem color and the color of like the rest of the plant versus the little seed pod on the top. So it's sort of like his body is the stem and his head and hair is the top of it. And I went back and forth on a few options, but um, ultimately I can't remember right away what I decided on. It was, I think it was one of my custom content. I think it's this one. And I think that's the color I go with. It may not be. I'm not entirely sure. I think so though. But uh, yeah, I definitely try to go with a more super casual, super laid back look which is definitely different from what I did with the other flower sims which in some ways makes me like that they're somewhat different well hello train you always do this why well, train <laughs> but um so yeah I'm almost done with doing him I'm gonna move over to her of course like all my other flower sims I did give them like the loves outdoor thing I gave him lazy and family order because he is the seed pod he is representing the seed pod that spreads them everywhere so it would make sense that, you know, he would sort of have some sort of family thing because he spreads the flowers everywhere. <laughs> well, what he's representing us or the flower that he's supposed to, the part of the flower that he's representing. Uh. <laughs> but anyway, here she is. So like I said, with her, I did, uh, I'm mainly rep making her represent the uh, actual yellow flower of the dandelion. And that's probably the one that most people commonly think of when they say dandelion, at least from my experience. When you say dandelion, most people think of the yellow flower, not so much the little white puffball seed pod. But, uh, so yeah, she's the yellow flower, which I tried to give her more yellow than I tried to give him white. I feel like recently I've done a lot of sims that are wearing a lot of white and their hair is white. So that's also another reason why I went a different approach with him. So I tried to do it a little bit differently, but I was going through trying to figure out what hair I thought suited her. I didn't want her to have like super long flowy hair. I wanted it to either be short or up in some sort of way. And I also wanted it to be that really bright yellow. So I literally was going through trying to find any bright yellow that I could that wasn't like too long and wasn't too muted or, <laughs> you know, fancy. Basically, I was trying to find something more casual, more 
it's still nice. And this is what I settled with. It's actually a new hair of mine. And I really like it. At the same time, it's, you know, it's more definitely more of a casual look. And I try to get something in her hair just to give her something different. And there's actually, I remembered when I downloaded this hair after I went further down, I remembered that these actually came with the download. And I found one that had orange and yellow, so, and because, um, some of the dandelions can actually become sort of an orangey color, and there's actually dandelions for different parts of the world, I found out. There's, like, Japanese ones, there's Russian ones, there's Indian ones. I was like, <laughs> there's all different types of them. And they tend to have whites, yellows, and oranges. So I did stick with more of the yellow and orange with her, because he has white already since he's got the seed part part, um... With the clothing, again, I try to stay with more of the casual, but I did get a little less casual with her. <laughs> that is a really glitched outfit. I was like, what? <laughs> so that outfit's going to have to go, but um, casual, but nice and cute all at the same time. And like, she's trying to be nice looking and fancy, but you know, she may not fit. Petunia would not allow her in her group. <laughs> I just have this very, very certain view of Petunia at this point, so... <laughs> Huh. Anyway, um, so that is going to be them. There is going to be screenshots coming up really, really soon. I am not taking, I am not, I'm not taking any more suggestions on Flower Sims. I may bring the Flower Sims uh, mini series back later on since there are so many different types of flowers and stuff out there. So keep that in mind. I might bring them back, but for now I'm moving on to a different mini, 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 mini mini cast series so yeah just keep that in mind but anyway um i hope you enjoyed the video if so please hit that lovely like button and subscribe to see future episodes of create a sims that i will do definitely go follow me on twitter so that you're stayed up to date and i also will probably ask for different mini series that y'all want to see for create a sim every once in a while so that's something to definitely go check out um, my Twitter along with the other social medias will be down in that description so you can go find those. All of my Sims 4 playlists will be down there as well so if you want to go watch any of those they will be down there so you can go click on them and watch them. And that's about as it. I, I really hope you like how they turned out. I like how they turned out. They're much different from the other flower Sims but, in the, but at the same time I really like the fact that they are different. But anyway, thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!